Hi guys! In this video, we're going to be learning how to draw Ariel from The Little Mermaid in a step-by-step -step fashion. We're going to be making two drawings today, one of the head and one of the body. I hope you guys have a great time. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, let's go ahead and start with the head. We're going to start with these simple shapes. Notice I created a circle and kind of a triangle for the jaw. Now, we're going to start working on the hair. Now, look at those big shapes I'm doing for the hair, those big curves. Be very generous with the shapes. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start working a little bit on the body. Notice how that shoulder kind of touches that chin there. Now, we're going to go ahead and work on the other shoulder and do a little bit of the chest area. All right, working on a little bit of the clamshells there. Okay, a little bit of the ear. And now we're going to go ahead and work on the other parts of the hair, the back of the hair. And let's go ahead and start working on the flower here. Now we're starting to work on the face. Notice how I put in a center line. I'm starting with the mouth, making sure it lines up in the center. It's a little bit like a triangle. Now a little circle for the nose. Notice how it lines up with that center line. Now we're working a little bit on the eyes. Notice how the eye is a little bit like a cross between a triangle and a rectangle. That eye on the further left is very close to the nose. It's practically touching. Now a little bit of the eyebrows. All right, and the eyes. Okay. At this point, I'm adding a little bit of shading and just starting to darken some of the lines. You can add a little bit of the eyelashes in as well and darken a little bit of the pupils. All right, just doing some finishing touches here. And yeah, there we go. Alright, now let's go ahead and work on the full body version of Ariel. I'm going ahead and starting off with the face. Simple shapes like the other one. A little bit of the neck and I'm doing a kind of a rounded triangle for the upper body. Now for that lower body, I'm kind of putting in a large oval. That oval is going to come down into that tail. It's going to go upwards with two big fins. Next, let's go ahead and work a bit on the arms. Now let's go ahead and work on the hands. Notice how I did a simple triangle shape for the hand, the thumb, and the fingers. Those are three separate components. And then on this other hand, this one's a little bit trickier. The fingers are one component. The palm is another component. Go ahead and kind of flesh out the fingers there. And here is kind of a big view of what the fingers look like. And I'm going to go ahead and do the thumb overlapping on top of the palm. All right, now I'm going to do the chest area. All right, let's start working a little bit on the hair. Notice how I'm breaking the hair down into very simple, big shapes. All right, starting to work on that curve of the hair there, how it kind of tidal waves over a little bit like an ocean wave. All right, now let's go ahead and start working on the face. For the face here, you can see that I'm putting that mouth in the center line. Go ahead and put the nose in as well. When I'm drawing these type of three-quarter view faces, I like to put in the mouth and the nose first. I'll put in the eyes last. I feel like it's easier to get the spacing better. Notice how my eye is a little bit like a rounded triangle. One rounded side and two sharp corners. Okay, doing a little bit of the eyelashes. Just darkening up a little bit here. Yeah, pretty eyelashes. This is pretty fun. Just darkening up some areas. Now I'm going to go ahead and just darken some lines in the rest of the drawing. And I'll be adding some detail here to the hair, to the chest, to the arms, all over. All right. Hope you guys are um, having fun so far. So if you are following along, I may recommend using a color pencil, like maybe a red or blue color pencil. That might be fun to... Um, kind of simulate what it's like in the method I'm using. And yeah, we're about done just making some final adjustments here. Probably we'll do shading in a little bit. Um, yeah, hope you guys like this video. Um, just keep practicing, keep drawing. You're welcome to check out my live classes on OutSchool. I do it one time a week. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.